It's always rolling and then I'm not ready and I am here with Elbert from Habitat. Elbert, I've heard that Habitat is basically the best thing since sliced bread. Is this true? Of course it is. It's, it's like a physics-based game where, where you mix Minecraft and uh, Kerbal Space Program and it's a very fun mix that people have been enjoying like this past few years in PAX and everyone's been laughing and enjoying and they're like, wow, our game is fun and people are seeing it, which is fun. Now, Elbert, I've heard rumors that there was a very successful Kickstarter. Is this, is this true? So right now we're, we're, we're halfway through our Kickstarter, uh, 11 days in. So that's pretty good in terms of Kickstarter success, but you know, obviously we're not funded yet. We're halfway through, 11 days, um, and you know, we just need to push through. And that's why we're at PAX right now, is to get people to know Kickstarter, and so that they can uh, get on Kickstarter, look at a game, try it out here, and you know, hopefully pledge. Fantastic. So, guys, search for Habitat on Kickstarter if you are thinking this is something that might be up your alley. Now, Albert, in terms of the gameplay of Habitat, how far along the spectrum of simulation are we? If Kerbal Space Program is out here right. and uh, a really arcadey game is out here, where are we? I'd say it's, it's towards the middle because a lot of people, because our game basically is on a 2D plane where it's all physics -y, but it's not 3D like uh, Kerbal Space Station. So we're trying to make it more accessible to students, to people so that they can probably understand the game in like as, as fast as five minutes and, and have fun immediately. So I'd say between uh, half arcade and half Kerbal. What is the biggest station you have ever seen built in Habitat? Oh lordy, uh, it's pretty big. Uh, I'd say probably as big as this convention center right now. And the, uh, we had someone who tried to like grab all the junk and build it, and he successfully actually built it, and you know, obviously it destroyed itself. Because <laughs> you know, that's what happens in Habitat. And to finish up, can you talk us through some of the points that uh, might lead a player towards a, a more optimal space station? If it's not to grab all the junk and bring it in, what might you want to do in Habitat to achieve a good balanced station? So that, that's a funny thing because like, um, we make sure that the player decides what they want for the station. So there's actually no prescribed way of making one. Obviously, you know, if you want to control your space station, you want booster rockets on all different sides of the game. But you know, that's up to the player. If he wants to make a station that spins around like crazy, then we're not going to stop them. That's up to their creativity. And you know, there's other resources like oxygen, electricity, and um, other kinds of resources that you might want to balance out if you want your citizens to live. But still, that's still up to you if you want to do that or not. So we're, we're leaving it to the player. OK, fantastic. Oh, we're going to leave it there. But guys, search for Habitat on Kickstarter. Get a load of this game. It looks very exciting. And if it's up your alley, you should definitely back it. Well, you know, we've been through survival training for the show because we were warned. And so we're pretty confident that we can last until about uh, midday tomorrow.